on to another episode of Ghost Watchers. Tonight we have returned to Antwerp Mansion. We are missing a member of the team tonight, if you haven't noticed. Um, sadly, Claire can't make it tonight. Um, hopefully she'll be back with us soon. Um, back out investigating with us, so don't worry guys. And demonstrating the new uniforms that we've, we've had on. We've got our very um, and the reason why we've come back to Antwerp Mansion is that last time we was here, we heard we picked up a voice of a child on the top of the stairs, so we, it was kept us, you know, we came back in hopes to try and capture some more of that. Yeah, um, just to explore it further, really. So, yeah, so looking forward to it, let's do it. Hope it'll be a good night. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. And see you in a bit. Hi guys, um, we've currently come upstairs, we're in the ballroom, we are going to do the spirit box and we're just going to call out in here and see what we can get. How many spirits are with us now? One. One. What's your name? Three. Three. Can you give us your name? What did he say then? That's what I got with them um, when I put the headset on. Four. Come forward and talk to us through the device. We mean you no harm. <coughs> Edward. Edward, is there an Edward here? What, what? Come on, I didn't get that then. Edward? Edward, can you Listen. come forward and tell us your story? Help. Help? Well, help. Tell us how we can help. Come and talk to us through the device, Edward. Bitch. Oh. It's a bitch. <laughs> it's a bitch. Said you're a bitch. It's a bitch. Any spirits here? I just want to introduce myself. My name is Yvonne and I mean, mean no harm. 
My name's Rebecca. I'm only here to communicate with you. What's your name? Where are you in this room? Okay, is there a female with us? Have we got a female spirit with us? Did, did, some, did someone touch Yvonne's glasses? Sound like death then. Sound like call then. Oh. Is the child that's with us? Yvonne. Okay, Yvonne, yeah. <laughs> I just heard Yvonne. Is that my name, Yvonne? Would you like to talk to Yvonne? Mm. What? Hello? What, what would you like to say? Have you got a message for Yvonne? Mm. Adam. Would you like to pass on the message to Yvonne? Is this somebody Yvonne knows? The person who keeps saying my name, Yvonne. Do, do you know me? Is it somebody I know? Me. Me. You were saying mum earlier, weren't it? Yeah, I think so. Person that was saying Yvonne, do I know you? Is it my mom? <laughs> Is my mom Yvonne again? Yvonne. Somebody wants to talk to you, Mum. The person who's trying to keep saying my name, Yvonne. It could that be my mum? <laughs> Whoever it is, they want to communicate with you. Mum, if that's you, can, if you, can you last chance, can you, can you tell me your name now? Otherwise, I'm going to move on. I, Mum, I, as you know, I, I always need proof that it's you. Could you tell me your name? Mum? Dad. dad. Or if it's me dad, can you tell me your name, Dad? I've dad a few times on that. <laughs> Dave. <coughs> Dave, Can you say your name Dave. again, please, Dad? Dad, are you with me, Mum? Dad, have you got... Do you want to tell me something, Dad? Or oh, Mum? Dad? Dad? Or oh, Mum, if you're still there, can you let me know that you're still there? Are you stuck here? Oh, I could hear like a footstep behind me then. Acid. Acid. Did somebody get hurt with acid? I think it might be acid. Oh, what? Oh, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> All oh, right, I don't know. Dave again? Is that Dave again? No, I've just heard a creak over there. If you're in this room, could you close the box on the bag over there and make it come off? It wasn't me because I hadn't moved. I hadn't moved my feet. Acid again. Did you used to come here when it was a nightclub and dance and there? Keep hearing little noises coming from over here. Could you make it go off, Rosalind? 
As you can see, guys, it's quite dark in here. We've just got the light over here. But when I've been stood here, I keep hearing the odd little creak over here. The odd little noise. Now I'm feeling my calling card now. I've gone all tingly. And I've got a sense of a gentleman coming forward now. Keith. Keith or keep. If there's a gentleman that's trying to come forward, can you tell us your name? Oh, Keith. Keith. If there's a gentleman coming forward, could you tell us your name? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes, please. It was a bit difficult, but I definitely got help. The gentleman spirit, could you tell me your name? You're happy for us to be here. I thought he heard careful then, like a whisper. We mean you no harm or disrespect whatsoever. We just, we, just, we, just, we would just like to communicate with you. We have been here before and we'd love to get some communication from you. Oh, I feel like it's gone cold now. The atmosphere is definitely changing now as with the night's going on. If you could tell us your name, that would be good. It's very hard, isn't it, to make it out sometimes. Maybe if I put the light on. What was that? Yeah. There's something that can't be done. What's that? Might be. Police. So was there police involved? I 
feel the spring. Jess. Jess. Sandra. Female wives. Getting a lot of news through at the minute, guys. I've got really cold. The energy has just picked up massively in this room. I feel really on edge at the moment. Amelia, female box. Is that Amelia again? Amelia, is that you? If that's you, Amelia, can you speak to us on? Yep. We come with love and respect. Yes, female box. Right, can you tell us on your story? Speak to Yvonne and tell her your story. Depression. Amelia, did you feel sad? Shit, hang on, hold on. I missed something. Mum, a child. I don't know what she said though. Is there a child with us right now? Stop. Do you want us to stop? Why are you with us being here? Here. Are you here with us now? Stop. I feel like something just switched my life. You want us to stop? I. If you could make a music box go off. Something. Then I will stop and we will go. Child. Hurt. Who's been hurt? Female voice, Sarah. Sarah, is there a Sarah here with us now? We're having a lot of names coming through at the moment, guys. Um, definitely Billy. Really freaked out. Billy again. Billy sounds like a child. <coughs> Was the child called Billy who used to live in this house? Guys, I've gone really cold. I've really gone cold at the minute. The atmosphere and the energy in this room, you can just feel it. Get her out! Get who out? Who do you want out? That was a male voice. Mirror. Mirror. You want everyone to look in the mirror or myself? Owen, 
male voice. I'm not male voice. Male voice. That was really clear that I'm not. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us on before we go out? We're only here for a short time. Stop, child. What do you need to stop? Do you want us to stop? No, male voice. I'm coming. Who's coming? Him, female boss. So is this a gentleman that's coming? What's the gentleman's name? Back over here. Is that you that's just made that noise for it? Yes, male voice. Right, so have we got a gentleman now with us in this room? Can you give us your name? Is there anything else you would like? Ryan. Did you used to live here? Gone. Right. He's hiding, female voice. Who's hiding? Is Brian yeah. hiding? Or are you hiding? The lady you just spoke. Really? Fifteen. Who was fifteen? Dan. Dan? So we're having a lot of names thrown at us. So Dan, have you got a message for us? Female voice? It knocks over. It knocks, knocked me over. What knocked you over? Dangerous. What's dangerous? Male voice. This is your chance to tell us your story. What's dangerous? No female voice. Is this a person who was dangerous? No male voice. Or is this something that was dangerous? Something that happened? To toilet female voice. Are you in the toilet? There's some toilets over here. Is it you in the toilet area? Are you over by the toilets? Go. Are you? Go, female voice. Go, male voice. Matt, would you like us to leave now then? Shall we end this session and go to another room? Bad female voice. Who's that? Can't hear you, male voice. I'm here, female voice. Right, shall we end it there? Come over here. Come over female here. Female voice. Are you okay? Waiting, female voice. Mum? Mum, are you okay? Mum? Mum? No! Male voice! Mum, are you alright? Are you okay? What's that? Are you okay? So I'd like someone to touch not the chair, I'd like you know to but touch me back as well. So we end the session now then? Yeah. Thank you for communication. Thank you for communication. But I won't walk that way because I've started feeling a bit uneasy. You started acting really weird. A bit I felt like, I don't know, so it touched, the chair rocked and it was like it was pushed up, it was touched up like, you know, like, because I felt it on my back as well. Right, like, we'll stop the rocks. session now. Thank you for that. We've got lots, we've got loads then. Did I? Yeah, but. I can't, I can't remember some of the stuff I was saying. It was like, there's just so many voices coming through yeah. and it's like, one what? after another and you're like trying to concentrate, trying to think, cause they're like, think to yourself, I'll stay with the one voice but then something else will come through and, which is so clear and, and just, you know, cause I, any that I'm, I'm not clear, I won't concentrate on but there were so many but it's a mix, there was a child
Um, well, you've got about bits of Brian and you've got um, Billy a lot. And Billy, I think, was a child. child. No, I, I think, think Billy's a child. Billy was a child's boss. Every time I got Billy, it was a child's boss. There were so many boys. Um, Amelia was another one that kept me up. Amelia. I felt like that. were different boys. There were another girl. There were another female boss. I don't know. I can't remember what, it, what I said, but that was a different voice from the Amelia boys. Um, well, while you was doing that, I kept hearing taps over here, and then I'd hear taps over here, but then I don't know if one of them was the rain, but I kept hearing taps my attitude. Do you want to turn this up yeah. off then? It's not wasting yeah, your it's battery off. down, it's off. is it? Yeah. Um, but I was a bit worried about you because you started like looking around and you know. Because it was as if I felt like the chair, the chair felt like it. What else? Moved down. I felt like it, it moved like that behind me, but I felt like something had touched me as well, but you know, moved the chair. Yeah. It just kind of moved the chair, but also touched me in my back, and I felt like there was something behind me. Which room? meters going on. If that's you lighting up the K2 meter, can you show us a sign? Yeah. Hmm? Right, I'm going to put this K2 meter on here. Yeah, you can do. If that's you making that, thank you. Can you light up that K2 meter? It's not going to harm you in any way. Can you make the colours go up to red? If that was you making the noise in here before, can you light up the K2 meter? Oh, thank you. K2 meters going off. Thank you. Are you a female spirit? Is there more than one spirit here? Yeah, there's more than one. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but the K2 meter is going off in response to my questions. This is more than one spirit here with us now. You light up the K2 meter. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Can you make a bang? Can you make a noise for us? Okay. Thank you. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Could you stop? Could you make it stop now? Could you make it stop? You make it stop, then we can communicate with you. It's lovely of you to make it stop. Guys, look at that K2 meter. It's it's going off like crazy. I'll tell you what. Wait, have you put cap over here now? No, the right size. Thank you very much for stopping it. Uh, could you make? Could you? Is there one box on the tea, on the tally there? Could you, if you go to that, it'll play some music, some nice music. And that'll let us know whether you're there. We mean no harm, we just wish to communicate. If you could go to the K like the K two meter apart, go in front of go to the wooden box on the on the top on the tele. Oh yeah, it's not then. We only come in love, light, and we absolutely mean you no harm. We're only here to communicate. We only wish to hear your story. I think that's just Yvonne. She's setting up some REM pods. Can you come towards the K2 meter? No, it's gone quiet in here now.
Is there any spirits still in here with us? If you can, can you show us a sign? Can you make a noise? Knock. Can you close the door? Whistle. It's like it's just gone dead. Are you feeling anything in here? I definitely feel sparked in. I feel like it's moved moved out of this room now. Because that K2 meter was going crazy and now it's just gone really quiet. I've just heard a noise in that room. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely moved out of that room. Right, we're going to move on to, that's just me setting that off. Right, we're in the red room. It's going mental, isn't it? Look at that. If that's you with the K2 meter, that's you. can you stop? Can you make it stop, please? Unless we move that. What? K2 meter, it's going. Well, did it go off straight away when you put it down? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not just in the room. What about near, oh no. What about on? It's going off everywhere in this room, to be honest. It's going upstairs. It's just going off. It's just going off everywhere. That's me about setting it up, sorry. It's not, it can't be that because where we've we put it before, it's just going up everywhere. It's definitely going mad in this room, isn't it? Mm. Oh, gosh, it's not right. Can you walk me away from it for a minute? Right, guys, so we've come into the red room. Um, I felt really creepy when I came into the red room last time, so I wanted to come back here um, just to investigate it a little further. Um, K2 meter is going mad in this room, it's just not stopped going off, um, so we've tried changing it, moving it into different positions, but it's still going off. So we'll see what we can pick up in here. Right, maybe you'd like to step away from that and go to the cat ball. See, can you like the cat ball plus? Could you like this little ball up here? It'll make some pretty lights. You go on, you just go near it, it'll light up and make some, some nice lights. It's not going to harm you and in any way. Let's just go crazy like an old one. It's just not, no matter where it goes. I've not seen it do that before. I've not, it's just not stopping. No if that's you affecting the K2 meter, can you do something else for us? I've gone really cold now. Can you make a bang? So we can hear you. Oh, is that you? Obviously, we've got traffic noise, guys, outside. The K2 meter is just going crazy in here. Can I just take it outside? Yeah, see if it's this. Yeah, I would. Because I've just never seen it before. It is going crazy. It stops out there. Has it? As soon as I put the other door, it stops. So it's this room then, isn't it? That's it. I feel like something's coming out to play now. Hang on. I'm back in and it's... Uh-huh. It's just going. Right. 
before. That is an open chimney, isn't it? Is mm. there? It's a proper chimney, that, isn't it? So by rights, there shouldn't be any electric signal. No, it should be all right, shouldn't it? Yeah. Right. Please, can you stop the flashing? Come towards the REM pod or the music box that we have in this room. If you wish to communicate with us, with us. What was that? Was that you? you no, know I just heard a voice. I think it sounded like a female. I heard something, but I didn't know if you made an eyes then or not. If that's you, can you do it again? I'm definitely feeling like something's building up now. I feel like the energy's building. Right. Right. In the heart landing it came from. Shh. <gasps> I've got I've gone cold here, there's a cold spot here. If you're here with us now. Can you come and talk into the camera? Yeah. Was it going mad? Right. You could be electric sound, you know. Right, there's only one with us now. Can you show us a sign? That'll be us, won't it? Can you make a noise? Can you make a noise? I think the stairs. I think we should call it on the stairs. Atmosphere is changing, yeah, I'll pee up the good. Right. Right, guys, so up to now. There's definitely something building up now. I've definitely got the sense that we're not alone, especially upstairs and near the stairs area. So we'll keep you posted. We're going to carry on with our vigil. Play a little tune. Dark it is guys, if you can see, this is how dark it currently is. Okay, two meters going off. Just to blind you all there. I'm just gonna put the light on. We'll do a quick EVP session in here. Yeah, then. yeah we're gonna finish with an EVP session. So the red room. Oh, Oh, whoa. What? Now, it's a window open there. The draft in here. Really cool draft. Right. This K2 meter is going crazy in here. Look at that, guys. It's the same areas where it seems to be affected. Um, I'm going to put that on the table. Right. Just what we're going to do, guys, we're going over the K2 meters that are going so going absolutely mad. In fact, I'm going to put it over near the window so you can see it flashing. And, it, and every time we bring it in this room, it just doesn't stop. Is there any... Is there anybody here with us in this room now? Okay, two meters saying yeah. 
Thank you. Can you come forward and speak into the device, into the EVP? I've got a burning feeling on my hand. Oh, look at my hand. What's that? Red mark there, isn't there? Mm. It felt like a bird. That all gone off. You see it? Oh no, I missed it. Can you do that again, Spirit? Thank you. I was just going to say, should we go into there and see if we can get the child on this? Right, guys, the cat ball's just been going off. K2 meters still going crazy. Right, and I've just had a burn to my hand now. It's really weird because I know it's... I just noticed like a burning feeling and I've looked and there was a red mark on my hand, but it seems to be going down now. Um, the cat ball out here has been going off. Right. EVP session on the top of the stairs. If the child is with us that we captured on the stairs last time we came here, can you come forward and speak through the EVP device, please? We're not going to hurt you. Cat ball's gone off. Cat ball's just gone off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to listen now, see if we pick you up. Thank you again. Thank you for making the ball go off. Thank you. It's going off again. It's like a whisper. Oh Definitely some on this stairs, you know, and then. We don't mean you any harm, and I know that you're here. I can sense your presence on the, these stairs. Thank you. Thank Lighting you. up the cat ball. Thank you. No, cat ball's going off. I'm feeling all tingly now. We know that you're here. So can you come forward and speak through this EVP, please? Is Billy with us? Cat ball's going off again. Thank you, spirit. There's something on it there. Okay. Should we do one more? Hi. This this is we're gonna go shortly, so we've come back to try and capture the child that spoke to us before. I have a device in my hand here. There's a music box on the fur. There's cat balls scattered around the place. If you can set one of them off or say your, say your name into this device, then we know your name. The child that was talking to us before, last time we was here, thank you very much. The cat ball's going off. Thank, thank you. Very much, um, for that. If you can say your name into this device, then we know who we're, who we're talking to. We've had some really good evidence tonight, especially around this area, the landing and the stairs. Can you give us one more? All that? No, it's coming from the stairs. There, no, in the corner there. 
Well, who cooked for you tonight? Mira. Mira. Did you hear it then? Right, we've had some really good evidence tonight, guys, and we are drawing it to an end now. So this is your last chance, spirits, if you would like to come forward and speak to us. Can you see the cat ball? Thank you. Thank you, spirit. I think we've already caught, captured a whistle. I think we've already caught, captured a whisper. I think we've already caught a whisper. We need to listen to it properly. There's a special cane to try and, try and communicate with the child again. Right, Rebecca's going to do a bit of an EVP session in the, what room is this? It's the nightclub area. Nightclub area. If there's anyone who's with us tonight before we end our communication, would you like to come forward and speak into the EVP device for us? Speaking to the device in Rebecca's hand, and we want to thank you for all the communication we've had. If you'd like to say goodbye, it's your last chance because we are going to go now. Thank you. Thank you. So this is like a good coup for us. And that's quite oh, a coup for us. And the tether. No, it's a bit deep to get down like that. I'm not, not going to If there's anybody in there, can you talk through the camera and we can pick you up? We decide to move our investigation down to the cellars. There is a sense of trepidation and an uneasy feeling of being watched. There's just the two of us. Um, creepy cellar. Hello. Right, guys, we are in the creepy dungeon. Right, hi everyone. So we've come down to the dungeon area. We currently have a few things set up. We have got the music box over here, which has just been going off. We've got the REM pod. Um, we've got some cat balls. Um, and we're going to do a bit of a Estes method, aren't we? Yeah. Now, finger. Right, do you want me to take the camera? Right, the camera comes free now. Is there anybody in this room with us? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. they set the music box off. Well, they can't. 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 I thought I saw somebody then, over there. This is, my, this, my name's Yvonne and this is Rebecca. Rebecca. You can speak to Rebecca through the device and she'll say what she's hearing. I know you've just set the music box off. If you could speak to Rebecca and maybe we've, we've got the REM pod which is quite loud but you can set that off. We've got a cat ball here. No! Sorry. No. Is it? Pardon? We're going a bit too fast for you. Tell Rebecca what you want to say.
If you speak to her through there, she'll tell me what you're saying. Could you tell me your name? We don't mean you know her. She's here breathing. Like, someone's here, but they're just breathing down it. Well, if you don't wish to talk to us, could you give us a sign that you're here? Could, could make a noise. Did you work here? Feels like someone touched my back then. Was that you touching Rebecca's back? Did you let us know? If that was you touching Rebecca, could you give us a sign? I get the feeling that they're not, they're here, but they're reluctant to talk at the minute. Like there's no harm. We're just trying to prove that there is something after. We just want to hear your story. Take one of the things off. Things off. Things off. Things off. But I did think I heard a child's voice a minute ago, but I might be wrong. Tell Rebecca your story. Oh, I thought I saw a shadow there. I thought I saw someone over there before. Near there. Well, that REM pod would have gone off. It's coming in. Can you let her know? Talk to Rebecca. Rebecca. Tell me story. What's your name? What's your name? Would you like to tell us your name? Are you male? Just hearing a lot of white noise. Come on, use our energy. Use our energy to talk to Rebecca. We mean you no harm. Sure. Thank you. I can't understand what I'm saying. I think it said pram. There is a pram outside. Would you like to push it through? Are you a child? Four. So you're four, four years old, that's lovely. Are you a little girl? Sure, I don't... Sure, I don't Do you know your name? Sure. Hi. 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 Could you tell us your name? No. Okay, then you don't have to. And it's lovely to communicate with you. Please. Please what, darling? Please what? Help. Please help me what, darling? Would would you like us to stop? I do. Don't touch my face. Right, we'll stop this. Thank you for your communication. Thank you very much. Right, shall we call it a night? Literally. Oh, you should have done it in there. Oh. DVP. Oh. That's raindrops. That. Oh. Oh. That. Oh. Oh. I thought it was you. Is that not you? Yeah. I'm just having a quick walk around here, just to make sure that we've not. A lot of equipment. Nothing. No, I think we've got a thing going. Yeah. Thing going. Yeah. Thing going. Yeah. Oh, what was that noise then? It was a foot there. From up ahead. Yeah. That was a really clear foot. That foot then, it was like a doom. from above us. I can hear a woman talking. <gasps> Did you hear that then? Did you hear that then? That then? That then? That then? Check me this leader. Well, um, our time has come to an end and we've just packed up and we're ready to go. Um, it's been a 
A good night, interesting night. That's um, some good activity. Um, yeah, we've had some activity. Um, I, I, like all service places, I always feel like there's, I'm being watched. Especially upstairs and they can be, Yeah, they can be a bit quiet and a bit, they can, it can be a bit hard to bring them out. But I don't know, when I walk around this place, I feel like I still feel like I'm being watched now. Yeah, it's so, definitely very eerie, guys. And thank you to Antwerp Mansion, to the owners who let us um, do yeah, our big, investigation here. A big thank you to them. Um, it's been a good night. And like I said, Can't wait to review the footage. I love the place, it's great. Um, but, you know, but they're definitely definitely things but i feel like they're a bit they, you know they need a bit more caught tonight but i don't like pushing boundaries me and i like being a bit yeah you've got to stay respectful i think and i think you know you've got to know when to stop and um, mm. always be respectful but yeah so footage coming soon guys um yeah, like and subscribe please do and we will see you soon see you bye. soon thanks for watching bye Nice. <coughs> 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 <coughs>